Thanks to its many endowments, Hong Kong has evolved from a fishing village into a global financial, trade, logistics, communications and shipping hub that prides on its world-class infrastructure, connectivity, efficiency and professionalism. Hong Kong has a long maritime history. Its deep water harbour, its strategic geographical location, its entrenched institutional strengths and its active maritime services cluster have together made Hong Kong a world-renowned international maritime centre. Also, Hong Kong has a stable and business-friendly environment with superb global connectivity. Hong Kong is seen as a haven for maritime business. It is the home to one of the world's largest shipping communities. With 9% of the world's merchant fleet, and a vibrant maritime cluster of some 800 companies providing a gamut of shipping services. Hong Kong has a very strong maritime heritage. We have the whole spectrum of maritime services in Hong Kong. So if you come to Hong Kong and utilize uh, the, the maritime services that are set up here, we can guarantee you that level of service and efficiency. Another advantage that Hong Kong has is our location. We are located in the center of Asia and our proximity to China uh, gives Hong Kong the natural advantage of becoming the super connector between China and the rest of the world. There are many great things about Hong Kong, but I think if you're thinking about setting up a shipping company here, a marine business here, the most important things are a user-friendly marine department that can get help us through the regulations and dealing with all the permits. And then, most importantly, Hong Kong has great people. Hong Kong has people with a great work ethic, an entrepreneurial spirit, and if we want to succeed in our business, then good people is the key to our success. Hong Kong, a preferred hub port in the region, is situated along the Far East trade routes. The busy port has the capacity to handle 66,920 foot equivalent units of containers on average every day. As a regional hub, Hong Kong offers about 340 container liner services per week, connecting some 470 destinations worldwide. The hub functions of Hong Kong Port back up the vigorous development of the maritime industry. The five first-class container terminal operators provide efficient, reliable and quality services. We frequently upgrade our port facilities and apply up-to-date information technology to help enhance the port efficiency and handling capacity. Currently, Hong Kong Port has cargo movements to and from about 45 economies along the Belt and Road corridors. The Hong Kong port is an important pillar of the Hong Kong economy and generates over 90,000 jobs for the local economy. Given the substantial investment it has made to enhance its capacity and productivity in recent years, and thanks to the government's continuing support to the industry, the Kuiting terminals today remain one of the most efficient terminal operators in the world. Liner shipping services play an indispensable part of the Hong Kong economy particularly as it relates to trading business, which contributes some 20% of Hong Kong's GDP. Liner services also bring along other services such as ship husbanding and crew management, as well as a host of other related port services. The Hong Kong Shipping Register ranks fourth in the world. Its autonomous status is provided under the basic law Hong Kong's Constitution. Uh, the Hong Kong Shipping Register is founded on two basic principles. One is quality and the other one is user-friendliness. Uh, the quality of the ships on the register is kept extremely high through inspections and monitoring by the Marine Department. And the administration of the register through the user-friendliness is kept uh, very low. So ship owners feel that they have a responsive Marine Department they can speak to. These are both very important issues for ship owners. Hong Kong derives unique advantages under the principle of one country, two systems. Under one country, it benefits from the world's biggest manufacturing hinterland and market. Under two systems, it operates autonomously. It upholds judicial independence and the rule of law, and continues to practice common law and the statutory law in force prior to the handover. Major international shipping laws apply to Hong Kong. 
Hong Kong has all along been ruled by the rule of law. Everybody is in court before the law, including the government. No one is above the law. Our maritime law is modeled on English maritime law, which everybody knows is the most established and popular maritime law. We also adopt the common law system, which is the world's most popular legal system. We offer certainty, stability to maritime industry players by our maritime legal services. Hong Kong is internationally renowned for its judicial independence. We were ranked number four in 140 jurisdictions in the world and number one in Asia in terms of judicial independence. And this was actually ranked by the World Economic Forum um, in their Global Competitiveness Report done in 2015. By arbitrating in Hong Kong, which of course is a very good place for arbitration, the arbitration awards will also be enforced in over 150 jurisdictions around the world under the New York Convention. Hong Kong's commercial and shipping status are comprehensive and update. Hong Kong has a specialized admiralty list in the High Court, which is in charge by a dedicated Admiralty Judge. In fact, Hong Kong Court has been providing 24-7 Admiralty services to the shipping industry. A topmost international financial center, Hong Kong is the freest market, with major multinational top banks and book runners. Under a transparent regulatory regime, Financial institutions can freely develop products for various investment needs. Most of the international ship financiers in Hong Kong have good network in distribution and syndication. And they also have the capability of tapping the global debt and equity capital markets. In the recent years, some of them have established very strong working relationships with the export credit agencies of the three shipbuilding nations in the world namely China, Korea, and Japan. The marine insurance market thrives in Hong Kong. It continues to expand with a full range of insurance services available from internationally renowned providers serving different shipping operations, both general, specialized, and niche. It is noteworthy that 12 out of the 13 international group of protection and indemnity clubs have offices in Hong Kong. Ship owners can manage complex risks effectively. Professionalism is yet another key feature of Hong Kong. Players in the shipping industry can count on readily available technical support and advice from internationally qualified and skilled professionals on shipbroking, ship surveying, ship repair, and other support services. The Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Government is keen to foster maritime professionals and talents. It has set up the Maritime and Aviation Training Fund to attract youngsters to join the industry through various incentive and scholarship schemes. The Maritime and Aviation Training Fund was set up by the Hong Kong government in 2014 with an initial funding of $100 million. At the moment, there are no fewer than 12 different schemes in operation under the fund, on which basis we are looking to provide more training opportunities for practitioners uh, with a view to further the grooming and expanding Hong Kong's talent pool. Over half of the world's population lives within five hours flight from Hong Kong. Its strategic location and connectivity attract shipping companies from around the world to operate in Hong Kong. With a vibrant maritime services cluster, Hong Kong is well positioned to serve as a springboard for global going shipping enterprises in mainland China. It is also an ideal regional base for foreign companies seeking to tap into the emerging mainland market. Well, Hong Kong has been described as a superconductor. It's like a, a giant server or a giant router Anything that comes through here moves faster. Anything that you sell here sells more expensively. Anything which you buy here buys more cheaply. So that's Hong Kong's unique function as an efficient hub, an efficient node in the global network. The world-class infrastructure of Hong Kong offers a wide choice of multimodal transportation linked to shippers. Hong Kong is closely linked to the globe by a world-class international airport, 
a deep sea port renowned for its efficiency and seamlessly connected to mainland China through extensive land crossings. With its excellent connectivity with mainland China, a large amount of cargo is moving between Hong Kong and southern China daily. SIPA, implemented since 2004, further strengthens the economic partnership between Hong Kong and the mainland. In April 2016, the Hong Kong SAL government established the Hong Kong Maritime and Port Board. The purpose of this board is to provide a platform for closer collaboration between government, the trade and academia to further promote Hong Kong's maritime and port sectors. At the same time, we would like to strengthen our maritime services cluster. We are well positioned to develop Hong Kong into an international maritime services hub. Under China's 13th five-year plan, the central government supports Hong Kong in consolidating and enhancing its position as an international transportation centre. Coupled with new opportunities to be brought about by the Belt and Road Initiative, Hong Kong has further room to develop in this maritime industry. Riding on the board for devising strategies and overseeing their implementation, the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Government will continue to work closely with the industry. Together with its efficient government. A very transparent and stable legal system. One of the freest economy in the world. Great banks, great lawyers, great insurance industry. Uh, Hong Kong really has to be the place of choice 